Guys, just another quick update here on what's going on with the Aero Gardens. The white Aero Garden that I had in the kitchen here finally gave up the ghost. A friend of mine and fellow cook, Graydon, had lent that to me to sort of experiment with originally. That was my first Aero Garden that I was screwing around with. And I started using the Boogie Brew compost tea in. And there was a, it's old, it's been around for a while. He's used it a couple times, few times. And I've certainly got my use out of it. I did change the pump in it once. I've changed the lamps in it a few times. And it just got to the point where uh, a lot of the connections and such got corroded in the back and I didn't feel like spending any more money on it investment wise so I got the Aero Garden Ultra it's not the LED version they do have an LED version that's a lot more expensive um, this one just uses the compact fluorescence but same concept but there are a lot of new upgrades to it and I like it a lot better than the Aero Garden 7's I still do have the black one with the strawberries that I'll show you in a minute on the progress on that but just letting you know that uh, this is going to be the same deal with a minor tweak um, the base of the nutrients in this system is still the boogie brew compost tea diluted uh, 1 to 10 1 parts tea and 10 parts water and I've also added um, the airstone in the back I'm not sure if that's what they're made for but there's a port in the back there you can see that the tube is going into it's got it comes with um, you can't see that it's in the way but there's two rubber stoppers rubber plugs in the back of the system that um, came that way so I just took advantage of that popped one out slid the the um, the tube in there from the air pump so I've got the air stone in there aerating everything one thing I did notice is that um, you know you sort of build up a little bit of sludge in there from it being all organic and aerated with all the microbes and everything feeding in there so I do I have started to empty the reservoir once a week and put fresh tea and water in there once every week and once of the minor adjustments that I've made is that I do now add I noticed on the strawberries that the, the leaves were getting a little bit yellow so I'm not sure if it was just because you know the tea itself didn't have all of the nutrients for a system like this obviously it's a fantastic supplement and regimen to use in your outdoor garden this is just an experiment but I don't believe that the tea has quite all the nutrients to uh, sustain the plant so I just um, started using these roots organic uh, nutrients as well grow and bloom here's the bloom and I don't use anywhere near the recommended dosage of this stuff because like I said the main baseline of my system here is still the boogie routine so that being said um, I took once the the white Aero Garden 7 crapped out on me I took all the um, herbs from that system and just put them in in the Aero Garden Ultra when it came in so it's just your standard um, kitchen herbs here some parsley sage thyme basil and a couple late starters that I threw in there are the um, I forget what they are oh, the dill and the chives and then in the back corner is the oregano um, and I've turned the pump off right now the air the air pump just to cut down on the noise level 
Some people have told me that the noise, level, noise is a little distracting from the air pumps. So, and I've got the hood raised up, obviously just to shoot the video, but um, obviously normally that would be all the way down because these plants are just getting started. So just, um, we'll keep an eye on that and we'll keep you updated on this one as well, but that's the new setup in the kitchen and we'll bring you over and check out the strawberries. All right, here's the other Aero Garden, the, the older model Aero 7, Aero Garden 7, with the strawberry plants in it. Until there's a lot more growth now, um, and it's the same mix that I've been using with the new one, the um, mainly the Boogie Brew compost tea, uh, and a dash of the Roots Organic Grow fertilizer just to green things up. And uh, again, same thing, I, I empty the reservoir once a week and put fresh water and fresh compost tea in there just to keep the system clean. Since everything is organic, there's no chemicals and everything to kill everything off, which is not what I want, so. But, um, you know, you can tell things are looking pretty good in here. And again, I've got the hood raised up just to shoot the video, but normally that would be fairly close to the top of the plants. So just another quick update, and um, we'll go on from here. Keep you posted, let you know what's going on. See you guys.